Hello, my peeps. It is Tracy here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and your friend, the Neighborhood Paper Pusher. Um, I have three new kits to show you today, and I'm going to do the videos one at a time, um, just for ease of <laughs> scheduling, as well as that way you can watch the specific one you want, or watch all three of them, but they're broken up for you. We're going to start with the July Paper Pumpkin, which I have to cheat and look at the side. I already forgot the name of Painted Petals. How pretty is this box? I don't normally keep my paper pumpkin boxes, <clears throat> but this is gorgeous. And this is a, like an idea of what's in the kit. And, uh, oh my goodness, look at how pretty, like the watercolor painting. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Anyways, um, I opened the kit just enough to move the very bright, I'm going to say melon mambo tissue paper out of the way but I've not actually looked at the full kit yet but I just I mean come on this is what's in store gorgeous so wait just a minute let me move this so I have a way to do my stuff my desk is the cleanest it has been in years even my son commented on that um because I was doing my product sale in here and I had to clean off enough room to make room for everything and I'm out with the old and making room for the new because as much as I just spent a whole bunch of money on online exclusives and got a whole bunch of fun new stuff um, for like fall holiday type stuff. The mini, um, the demonstrators, again, major perk of being a demonstrator, you don't have to wait for things. Um, I get to see the mini cat, the Christmas, the holiday occasion, no, holiday mini uh, next week, middle of next week, Wednesday, I think. And then first week of August, we get to pre-order as demonstrators and um, uh, customers get it at the first week of September. So yeah, for somebody who is impatient, <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, before I open this, let's start with, we have a gray granite ink spot, and we have this uh, lovely stamp set. And I did remember to grab this first. So remember how we have the, the little um, quarterly dies? And this one has, this is July, August, September. And this one is the July die. Look, it rhymed. Right, this time I decided instead of just showing the dies, I would actually pre-cut things out. So this this pre-cuts this shape, which you will notice goes perfectly with that there fleur. So let's see if we line it up straight. So that's going to be pretty. We're going to try one of those later. Uh, but this is the... And the other dies in the set make a big leaf and a hooray, which might be specific to the... What did I just say? July. The August and September kits. But um, I'm pretty sure we could use them on just about any card. Well, maybe not the hooray on a sympathy card. But just about any card. Okay, so then... Let's get the cellophane out of our way here. We have... <laughs> excuse me. Some nice little... Um, oh, I always forget the word. You know in an oil slick how you get that and it looks different colors? That. What is the word I want? Darn it. Some sequins and then there's some adhesives in there. Oh, good lord. Excuse me, I gotta get the paper in the garbage. Get this plastic again. Okay, this is just the envelopes. And look at how pretty they are. I don't know flowers. Um, so, in my, in my world of not actually knowing the names of things, there's a purple flower... This is kind of a, I, th I see a poppy. Um, I'm pretty sure it is a poppy, actually, because it's also poppy parade colored. Oh, and then daisy. These are my two favorite flowers, poppies and daisies. Uh, this, I got no idea. If somebody knows the name of this, feel free to type it in the comments. But look at how pretty the envelopes are. And that's just the envelopes. Okay, I'm going to keep one of each of these out. Uh, see if I can figure out where. There's so much stuff on my desk already, and I just opened the kit. Um... I was trying to, you know, look like I knew what I was doing. So I brought over my little mini emboss machine and I got my little thing out for cleaning my stamps. And that is just so ahead of the game. Oh, good Lord. These are pretty. Okay. Spin it. There we go. So now we have, again, the purple flower. That's one of the card bases. Oops. Maybe I should get in the screen. So those. I'm going to keep one of those out. We have... Oh... Look. So it's watercolored. It's kind of like kind of faded, and then a little splatter on it. Oh. And there appears to be 
three each of these. And then wherever the fourth card base is, uh, we have some labels. Oh, look at this. <coughs> Excuse me. These are pre-cut little die cuts. Can I get the right angle? Eventually I get the right angle. I just realized that I forgot to turn on my lights and that might have something to do. See, it's hot here. It's really hot here right now. And I don't like the heat. Not at all, not a little bit, nada. I am a winter person. And so I've been keeping like the lights off, the drapes closed, we have air conditioning. So there you go, you can see that they're different shapes because they're pre-cut to go with the sentiment. So I just gotta get them in the right order. So this sentiment that says, friends like you make life beautiful, fits in this one. And the, and the good part of it is, I can see, let's go with this one says, let's celebrate you. We'll have to do it when we, when we get to the stamping. They're not super tight. So that gives you a little bit of wiggle room on getting your stamp positioned. But these are photopolymer stamps, so you can see through them, so that makes it easier. But, oh, instead of just having, you know, not that there's anything wrong with, but plain old square labels, they've made them look like you fussy cut around the words, which is awesome. And then, oh, here's our third card base for our daisies. Oh, good Lord, guys. ba -da! <laughs> How pretty are those? My God, this kid is phenomenal. I haven't even got to the pictures of what the cards look like. Just the pieces alone are phenomenal. Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay, so I'm going to put two of them away because I only need one right now. They're all in one little thing, which would just make such a pretty picture. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, I'm going to leave those there for now. Take our little piece of cardboard out of the way. I'm doing this in the backwards order. Normally I would take the, the cellophane off, flip it over and show you stuff. But for whatever reason, we're doing it this way today. So let me just fold this in half so it's easier for me to handle. So this is the stamp set. Pretty flower. On its own is going to be pretty, but there's a die cut too. Hello, let's celebrate you. The, st the stamps go different directions. Friends like you make life beautiful. You're simply the best. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. I love that sentiment. And then there's a little bit of crosshatched for just for texture. So that's the stamp set. That's awesome. And then let's see what the cards are actually supposed to look like now that I have flipped it over. Oh my goodness, look at how pretty those are. And again, because um, it looks like all three of these cards are going to go together the same way. Oh my god, these cards are gorgeous. They're going to go together quickly too if Tracy would stop talking. Um, <laughs> so each one of them has a strip, three embellishments, dimensionals, the whole bit. So these are going to go together really quickly. Um, oh, good lord, those are pretty. Where are my dimensionals? There we go. I could use the ones in the pack, but I tend to use, I tend to use my own open ones already and save those to give to people um, that are making kits and stuff. But I will take out these pretty little, uh, darn it, I can't remember the word. Iridescent? I don't know if iridescent is the right word, but these little gems that are, okay, so we're going to take those. And I need one of each color. So these just match the card base. Although it's your card, you do what you want. You can mix and match them if you want. And so we're taking one of each of these. And then yes, these beauties, they're just they're die cuts, right? So just because they're delicate, just sort of use both hands, don't just like this because you, you could rip them. Um, so I just pop one out. So there is my Poppies, popping the poppies. There is my daisies. Got to get the right angle on. Oops, just a minute, I'm knocking everything. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. There's just a couple contact points when they die cut. They leave them so they don't fall out. So you just, oh my god, that I haven't even finished it. Look at how pretty this is. Okay, so here's the deal. If you did not get in on it early enough. Um, you may or may not be able to get a full set, but I can tell you that these cards without, with, even without the stamp set, these cards are flipping gorgeous. So after the 21st, let me look at a thing. What is today? Today is the 18th. Um, so on Monday, 
they they should like post whether or not there's refills available or if there's any full kits left. So I will guarantee you that they are going to fly off the shelves <laughs> if there are either of them. Because even if you just get the refills, which comes with all of the consumables but not the stamp set or the ink spot, um, it's not going to matter. They're gorgeous cards. People are going to eat them up. Um, so if you want them, let me know because I will watch for them. And the second they go live, I can I can order. Uh, oh my god, yes. These bases are gorgeous. So normally, a refill kit... I want to say is fifteen dollars plus shipping and tax. Fifteen times ten is about fifty. About 50. So it's going to be like just shy of twenty bucks for the refill kit. Um, and then, and you can order multiples. If you order three of them, you would probably be close enough to. Um, no, you'd need to order four of them because it's before shipping and tax. You get a free bonus days coupon. Um, and then the 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 full kits, if they have them, I want to say are twenty. 26 maybe with shipping and tax anyways I, i'd be able to tell you the actual price i just can't think of it off the top of my head I'm gonna get my envelopes in the right order so yes you let me know if you want them and i will watch for them because like i said flying off the shelves um okay so here's how what these cards go together because these cards are genius we're going to fold oops um, it's always a good idea, but especially when it's warm out and you might be a lot sweaty, sorry, too much information, um, that you want to use, I buried my dimensionals already, that you want to use um, your bone folder and not like run your fingers down the side of your cards, especially on the white card base. Oh, good lord, that is just gorgeous, isn't it? Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a dimensional on the back of each flower. And that's going to be enough to hold, like, this thing on. I'm going to dry fit this first because I don't remember what I'm doing. So I'm going to offset it. How did I do theirs? Yeah, there's a... Okay, so the other one is going the different direction. But this one, because this is off to the side, this one is going this way. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. A little bit of the background, a little bit of this. <clears throat> I am going to cut. So this is... And it works even on the small ones. Those are the wrong scissors. I have the scissors for adhesives. So when you get the things, as soon as I take my first couple out, I go around and I, I trim up the little um, edge piece to make, there's no, there's no waste. When I'm done, this is a completely bare, like a lot of people, well, not, maybe not a lot of people. I've seen the odd person who just uses like whole dimensionals in the middle. No, no, no. Use all this outside pieces too. But so for me, I go and I cut, and then these ones I kind of cut in between like this. So then I end up with, I end up with the full size ones. I end up with ones that are basically half a dimensional. Oops. And then the ones that are on this side are like little L shaped ones, which work beautifully if you're trying to, well, here, I'll use it on this one because this will work beautifully. So this way it gets me, like see how it fills in that space, right? Whereas the, the full size one would be too big, it'd be hanging over. So, but I'm gonna do that because I noticed that this little part is a little bit, was a little bit flat. Oh my God, these cards are pretty. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I'll stop. Um, and then what we're going to do, this is this is the green card base. So whatever color is on the back. And yes, you could certainly split these card bases, and I will guarantee you some people will. Um, split the card base. Oops. So that this is one card base. This is an awesome card base. So if you did this as a card base and just cut out your flowers, look at how nice that looks, right? Uh, but anyways, whatever color this back is, is whatever color this is. that goes with your sentiment. So, because I have popped these three up on dimensionals, I'm going to put a dimensional just on one end of this. Right? So it goes like this. And that's why I wasn't too worried about a dimensional under here, but I definitely want this corner and these flowers. You don't have to worry about the skinny pieces because you've got these three, so it's holding up. And then it's just, I guess it's really just a matter of where you want to put it. Oh, where'd they put it? We'll put this down here a little bit. Okay. And then, you know what? I don't... I'm not sure why I'm not actually fixing it down. I know what I'm doing. So. Um, I like to dry fit it at least once, but I've already figured out where this is supposed to go. So we will do that. Oh, good Lord. These cards are gorgeous. Like I said, any refills they have will go fast. Now, they have little strips, I noticed. I have all sorts of other adhesives, so I tend to not just use the ones in the kit. 
But they have these little 3M paper. 3M always means adhesive. Um, it means more things in the in the industrial world, but for me, it just means this. I'm just curious, where are they putting this one? Oh, clever, clever, clever. Okay. I'm going to use glue dots. No, actually, I'm not, because this will, this will work better. Okay, so what they've done is they put their strip like this, but they're showing in the instructions. And then they take this little 3M strip. I'm going to leave the paper on so you can, you can see what I'm doing with it. Or I'm going to pull it right off without it. <laughs> Do it this way. The backing comes off very easily. I should have thought of that. Take my little pick your pick tool. I will lift up the whole thing. There we go. And then I will put it down. So you'll see the paper so you can see where this is. Except for because I pulled the backing off a little, it's still coming off. This is not as hard as I am currently making it look. There we go. I pulled this off already, so it's not sticking exactly. But that's so that's where they're putting this little, little adhesive strip. And then, so I thought I was being so clever because I got out my little um, stamp and scrub for cleaning off the ink, and I put it right at the top, so it's just off screen, which is perfect because I can just read for it, and you know. But now that's where I used to. I'm used to setting everything, so now I want to set my cards in the scrub, which is not a good idea because. But okay, so what did we say our sentiments were? over how nice this kid is uh, i love this i am so lucky to have you in my life so i'm gonna take you get your block ahead of time with your kit so i'm just gonna take the block and put that one on perfect i'm gonna get my little scratch pad because it's photopolymer and we are using it for the first time it's always a good idea to make sure that the stamp doesn't have any manufacturing residue left on it that it's going to stamp a nice clean image this is like a very fine line so chances are it is if it wasn't or if it's the bigger image then just put it on and i find just give it a little squeeze or like push down and like twist it and it gets enough to take any of the whatever's left off okay so this is upside down okay so i'm going to tell you for some people they can take this sheet and go like this and you can see through the stamp i'll just do it upside down yeah you can see through this stamp and you can just do it I personally cannot. <laughs> uh, oh, that's because some of them are one way and some are the other way. Okay, so I haven't lost my mind entirely. Um, I don't. I find that hard. I don't know if it's because I wear glasses. I don't, I don't know, whatever. I find it harder to see that way. What I find is if I take, and, and even if I do this, it's white on white, right? But I find if I take my little silicone mat, which is generally, like this little piece here is, is for stamping on. I generally work on my silicone mat. Um, so if I put my silicone mat, just a minute, is that the right? Yes. Like this, then I can very clearly, because I have contrast now, I can very, very clearly see the edge of the white. So now I know where I'm stamping. So this is how I find it much easier to do. So now I'm going to go, and like I said, these geniuses at Stampin' Up. Oh my God, look at how well that worked. Um, they've left a lot of clearance around it. So even if you were a little off, it's still going to work. But they've made it work beautifully. Oh my god, I love this kit. <laughs> hey, just wondering, did you know if I like this kit or not? Have I given enough of an indication? Oh, excuse me, sorry. I could feel the sneeze coming. I couldn't even warn you it was coming. It was like a train it came in so quickly. Okay, so I'm going to do this this way. So now I want to put this guy. This guy. What is two thumbs? This guy. Um... I want to put this over top, so I'm going to peel this off. There we go. And this goes over. Actually, you know what? You know I have an issue. Sometimes, sometimes I see them, and sometimes I don't. But sometimes the little piece that connects the die cut to the die cut thingy, uh, like to the frame, it has these. It leaves these little nubs. And most of the time, you don't even notice them. My problem is once I notice them, I can't not notice them. So there was one that was very obvious right on the bottom of the sentiment. So <laughs> there we go. You just trim them off. So there's my little bit of tape. And I am just putting this. Okay, I can't do it. I was trying to be all clever and show you on screen. But let's face it, I can't tell if it's straight if I do it that way. Oh, good Lord. And so we're just having this peek out the bottom. <laughs> Look how 
pretty that color this. Oh, my goodness. And then, put a little bling on it. Here we go, a little, little bling. Um, I have no idea where the instructions say, oops, to put the bling. Because when it comes to bling, I like to do my own thing. <laughs> I know, I'm a nut job. Happily a nut job. Okay, look at that card. Is that not pretty? And then this goes with... What did I do? Oh, it's right in front of me. This goes with and said Daisy and Wolf. So there's one. Okay, I'm gonna try to do these other ones a little bit quicker. But I like to I like to um give you the benefit of my mistakes. If I've screwed something up and figured out a better way to do it, I like to tell you. There's no point both of us screwing up our projects. Oh, I absolutely. Sorry, I keep I keep losing track of the things that are right in front of my face. I absolutely love poppies. My entire bedroom is full of poppy stuff. It's all red and white and black. Well, the furniture is brown, I guess. But um, Okay, so I probably should have... Oh, this is still the same way. I probably should have checked first before I pulled the backings off, but we'll just hover. But yeah, I still want to go offset to the right on this one so you can kind of see the background coming through. And then this one has this color, which is again the oops, the color on the back. And we are again right in front of me. <laughs> we are putting we are putting one dimensional. You do some things with my left hand, but certain things I can't. And in this case, it seems to be taking the back off the <laughs> dimensionals. And we're gonna pop this little guy down here. Uh, is this slightly smaller? What did I do with my other card? This is a little bit narrower than the green one. The green one, which I believe is old olive. Oh, look at that. Well, I'll be darned. Okay, so <laughs> the Poppy Parade one is the narrowest. This one is a little bit wider, like this way, this way wider. And the green one is a little bit wider yet. The green one is also shorter. This one's the longest. So these are not, in fact, all the same size like I just assumed when I just popped them off without paying attention. Um, but that's okay. And, and it only matters if it matters to you um, on the sentiments. Here, let's pick another sentiment. Let's start with this. That's the blank paper. Okay, so what does this one say? Friendship, with, like, friends like you make life beautiful. You are simply the best. Hello. Let's celebrate you. I'm going to do you are simply the best. Uh, I'm just using one of my old blocks because I have so many of them. Again, give it a little test run. Don't move it while you're stamping because you'll make it very blurry. There we go. Perfect. And then that one would be this one. So yeah, each one of the sentiments has its own little background. Oh, here, let me see. Let me count for you, shall I? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, five, five. Okay, so there's five of each sentiment. There's nine cards. There's 20 different little things. So the extra cards you can make using the, the fancy pantsies die and stamp set. Um, what did I say? Nine and twenty-five. So you couldn't make all nine cards with one sentiment, but you could certainly make like the same three on all of them, or you could use two different sentiments, and and you would just have a ton of these left over. Speaking of, sorry, I distracted myself there. Um, I'm going to get right back to that one. But speaking of, I like to stamp on the envelopes. And on the insides. Now, in the case of these, these envelopes are gorgeous. They're gorgeous. But I do like to stamp on the inside. So this one does not have anything on the inside. And even though it is not... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to use that for something else because that isn't the same flower. I'm going to take... I block, Blocks for days here, people. <laughs> um, there we go. I'm going to take this little guy. I left, I left my other block in the ink pad. So these are stamping no problem right off the bat, but I'm still just a habit, I guess. I am going to, just because I like a little, it doesn't even matter what it is. In this case, just putting a little little cross hatching in there, just jazzes up the corner a little bit. I like how that turned out, so I might do that. Okay. 
Now oh, back to our originally scheduled program. Do, do, do. That is the direction. You have to figure out which way these go. Um, oh, see, I'm a little crooked on that one. But, like I said, the generous people at Stampin' Up! gave us a little extra room. You're simply the best. And, yep. Just have to have a little nub in control here. And you really want to, what you want to be careful with if you are going to trim them is don't, don't angle your, sorry, I'm off the thing. Don't angle your thing at all in. Keep your, keep your scissors level with this because you just want to cut along the side. If you go like this, you're going to end up making a gouge and then you try to cut it to fix it and then you just make it bigger and, and oh, it just, yeah, don't do that. See, where are my little strips? So, yeah, if you're making extra cards, you certainly, I think there's more than nine of these though. One, two, three. 8, 9, 10, 11, and I've already used one. So there's three extra ones of these, too. Um, see, this time I knew what I was doing, so I did it right. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to figure out where I'm putting this. You know what I'm going to do? Because this is smaller, and I want to make sure I line it up properly. Um, I'm just going to... I'm going to put this. I just need to give it a slight trim. It's a little bit longer than the sentiment, so I'm just going to take this little trim. And because we're in the whole waste not want not business, I'm actually going to take this tiny little piece that I just cut off, and I'm going to stick it right under here, underneath the edge, and give that. Stick it to the edge of this because I can't seem to make it work the other way. There, give that a little bit more sturdiness. Okay. Excuse me while I pick up my sentiment off the floor. <laughs> there we go. And then I can now. I'm just going to put that in the middle like that. Oh, you're simply the best. You are simply the best. And all of you who tune in and keep watching my stuff, you are simply the best. Thank you for keep coming back. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Nope, I like it over here again. I like my little, there we go. So there, oh, just a minute. I'm gonna do the same thing on the inside because I quite liked it on the other card. I'm trying to do these a little quicker. There we go, so that's on my inside, so there we go. And my little matching, God, those cards are pretty. Have I mentioned, those cards are pretty. My stuff is like spreading out farther and farther on my desk here encroaching there we go okay last one melon mambo okay so i'm just guessing on colors right now based on experience but having said this before in case we have some new peeps watching it says right on the back coordinating colors oh see that's calypso coral then i think instead of poppy parade yep calypso coral daffodil delight granny apple green gray granite old olive melon mambo mossy meadow peach pie and pretty in pink so i got oh you know what Maybe that is peach pie. This is either peach or calypso. Let's see. Oh, you know what? No, maybe it is, still, it is still calypso. I thought it was, yeah, it's still calypso. It's just a lighter shade of it. Um, it does look, oh, I just love those poppies though. It does look almost like a, like a watered down poppy parade as well. Okay, so this is the one where I said, cause this, like all the other ones, this was a little bit more offset. So on this sample, they actually show there's going to the left so that you get more of the, the spray over there. So you could just look at the instructions like most people do, but that's just not my way. So we are putting one of those on each. And then like I said, I'm just going to take another little bit of my edge piece because it fits nicely in these things. Yes, that's the right side. And I'm going to pop this baby on there. I don't know where you are, but like I said, where I am, it is ridiculously hot. And it's been ridiculously hot for too, way too long. Um, and I used to work in wildfire, so I know this is not doing us any favors. Um, there's a lot of active fires, a lot of fire bans, everything. It's just, we don't need this. This is not the kind of weather we're used to. Unfortunately, I think this is kind of the weather of the future. But um, 
So yes, I have a fan going, and I meant to like do a little test recording and see if you could hear the fan. So my apologies. It's not super loud. Um, it just, the little oscillating part of it makes this kind of like a little ticking noise, but um, but I can't. My, my uh, craft room slash office is the only south-facing window in the house, and it is some kind of warm in here. And it gets blinds down with the exception of a little peephole for the dog. Um, he came, I had the whole blind down, and he came running in earlier and like smacked his head on the window like, what the heck? What do you mean I can't see out here? Uh, you know what? I, I do have like specific a couple specific people I want to make these cards for. So I'm actually just going to repeat and use that same sentiment I used before because I love it. I was going to use a different one just to show you, but quite honestly, no, I want another one that says, there we go. So lucky to have you in my life. Yes, this is the right direction. <laughs> and... Other than flipping it over, voila! See, it is just, it's the, oh, I love having these pre-cut little shapes. Uh, there is a, I don't think they're still in there now that I think of it. In the past, Stampin' Up! had a couple. I think one was a Christmas one, and one was uh, an everyday one, and now I cannot remember if they are current anymore. But they were basically a stamp set like this, where it was a stamp with just a ton of different sentiments, and then it had a big die, and it would cut them up in the same order. So you could basically stamp a whole bunch and then cut a whole bunch, and they were all like this with the fussy cutting around them. It was cool. Okay, so where am I putting this? See, this it's this is you have to do this <laughs> with your like sentiment first because if I had put the 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 my little sticky strip here in the middle, um, I would have had to put this down, and that's what I I don't want to do that. I want to have this up on the very top edge of my little pink label because. I want to put this here so I can see more of my pink. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it crooked. So let's see if we can. There we go. <gasps> These cards are so gorgeous. Uh, gorgeous. Here's my little. Get my little blings. Bling, 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 bling. Bling, 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 bling. Yeah, maybe the heat's getting to me. <laughs> Yeah, and so these these are like I, we're putting basically white sequins on a white card, but in person you you get that oh there we go you get that little glimmer. So we'll do some insides. Actually, just to show you what it looks like. Um, so those other cards, a poppy and a daisy, were definitely not this flower. This one is closer. We can go with it. Move that out of my way. Um, so you have two options. You can stamp. And then stamp in your card, which will give you like a much, I'm going to actually do it that way, which will give you a fainter background so that if somebody wanted to, they could still write over top of it. Or the other thing I like to do is I get full strength, but I stamp like this. So I'm like stamping off the card. So I'm just getting like a part of the stamp in there. But this is just sort of a, like a little half strength, but look how pretty that flower is. So we have that one for our inside with our pink envelope. So there's our cards. Um, and like I said faster if, if you weren't talking as much as I did. But look at how pretty those are. Mm. Oops, why did I, uh, what did I do that made my camera all of a sudden go out of focus? I have no idea. There we go. Sorry, I have no idea what I did. Okay, so there's our three cards, though. Look how pretty those are. And then, so normally I would recommend, um, stamping and then die cutting, but because I've already done this using that same technique, uh, because I already cut one out just to show you what the size was, I'm going to see if I can... So my head is probably oh I didn't even look at that there we go I gotta find the stem my stem wasn't anywhere close to it <gasps> sometimes I just totally get a little lucky <laughs> um look at how well I did that so that is how pretty that will cut and 
die cut, or sorry, stamp and die cut to make this. And then you just need to find yourself a card, a complimentary card base of some color. I'm going to use this because it's right there and it's bright. And away you go. Quite honestly, uh, where can I get my little bin of my little bin of goodness? I, oh, here we go. I always have. Oh, I knocked things on the floor. I always have this on my desk, um, which is just so many things in here. Now, if if we were gonna if we were gonna color this, this would work. Sometimes it's as simple as you could put if you have DSP, you could put DSP down. You could put an embossed layer. You could do some stamping on here. But we do this. We color this, and we put one of our extra sentiments on it. And because our sentiment layers are white, this is, like I said, this is just a random box. If I had more, uh, like if I was actually making this card for something, I'd have more the time. I would, I would actually pick the right, <laughs> the right color of circle. This maybe not isn't the right circle, but even just something like this, and then pop one of your, pop one of your sentiment labels on it. I don't, I don't want to rip this, so I'm going to be careful like this. And there's a simple card. Cards don't have to be all the things and fancy and take forever. Like, there's a simple layout right there. And this isn't even colored. But if you colored it, <laughs> then you could do it with different colors, right? So that's the die that comes with it. And it goes with that stamp. And there's a few more stamps in there. So that is the beauty kit that is. I'm going to move this stuff out of my way. That is the beauty kit. What did I say it was called? Painted. There we go. Painted petals. That is the July kit. Mine came in the mail, or got dropped on my step yesterday. I want to say, like hot off the presses. Oh, such pretty, pretty cards. Remember, if you want this kit, whether it comes in reef, you may not have a choice. You might just have to tell me I only want it if it's a full kit, or I want it no matter what, even if it's just refills and how many you want. And like I said, I will watch because I should be able to late Sunday night. Uh, oh no, because the thing would run on Monday. So it might actually be Tuesday, but let me know by Monday if you want this and I will watch for it and I will let you know if it comes in stock and if I can get it for you. All right. July painted petals. Thanks everybody. I got two more videos coming and they will probably post in the next two days. Let's go one a day and, and we'll spread out the love. All right. Thanks everyone. Stay cool peeps.